Hey guys, Zach Bossel here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own hack from Mario Maker. So first you're going to need to download this hacking pack. It's going to be on my Dropbox, so I'm just going to send you a link in the description. So you don't have to download all these programs individually, so let's just delete that. So first you're going to want to find the SEZ file you want to edit for your hack. So in this case I'm going to choose the Wii U Field Planes. It's pretty obvious. Wii U, M1, M3. MW sounds Mario World. That's pretty obvious. And now you just go on to run this decomp dot bat. <coughs> enter, and this will extract this file. Decompress it basically. Then you will use sark extract, and then you wanna open this file up. Copy that. Control V, and then give that in the extractor. <coughs> and then you go on this GTX file, just copy that bring it to here and then use GTX Extractor for this, this can take a little bit but it's a very good program made by Budexy I use it a lot and it's my favourite program it's by far great and superior so there we go, it's extracted into a DDS file so we're just going to edit this in GIMP you're going to need the DDS um, file plugin for GIMP, which can be found via a quick Google search. But GIMP can sometimes take a while to launch up, but it's got to be patient. And another thing you should take notice is but we're going to be using the HDX editor which you can just find very easily, I'll link it in the description because I am it's it's a very easy program to use it's just basically finding offsets and that's all it is to import it in and also this is a newer version of Mario Maker I'm using see it has a um, star coin down the, the bottom which means it's new that's why I had issues with my other hacks and yeah time to get right into this so basically you can just, let me just show you a quick edit to prove it works. You can also edit music which will be in another tutorial. Now let me just change hue and colour. And OK. So now I go file, export as, dot DDS, export, replace, and format ABGR8. You select that or it won't work. Now just discard changes. And now you need to press shift, right click, and open command window here. So now what you gotta do, listen here. Um GTX extractor path, DDS file path, GTX file path. And now that's how you do it. Now it's just gonna convert it, it should take as long as it did last time. And then we're gonna use some hex editing. So let's just delete this file, you'll see why. Because we're gonna recompress that file and make it the same name, so it just makes it easier. Now we're gonna open up the HDX hex editor, drag this file, the modified GTX, and the Sark file, the original one that you extract from the SEZ. And now you're gonna press Ctrl G, go to offset. 2800. This is where your image is. And now go on your other one. Go to offset FC in your D GTX file and then press Control E. And then you need to set length to um, this number around here. Should just look for it. See, 40000, I think it is. So you just type in 4. In this case, because it's the newer version, you have to press 440000. Now this is your image. Now you go and wanna go to this start file, you need to copy this, and then you press Ctrl E and type in the same number you did there. So 440000. And then press Ctrl V. And it'll copy it and then save 
did that save and now what you're going to, need to do is use Yazo comp now you need to rename this get rid of this and type UMP and now we'll just click on it and it's going to compress it into an SEZ and then we just need to give it the name it's a lot faster on the other game files like Mario World and stuff like that so now let's just copy this name Control C Control V and then SEZ we need the file extension now just copy this and we're gonna paste this into here and we're gonna replace the file now time to launch up CMU to test so this is really guaranteed to work backgrounds on Wii U just don't change them it's really complicated just trust me there if you look at it it'll be like millions of GTX files and I'll show you how to do music um, next video if it's requested okay so let's just test this hack okay it's just going to take us time loading but look 60 fps pretty good not too bad now make switch to the Wii U game style just saying it's a bit laggy on switching themes so it's not me don't mean that you've done something wrong and now there we go there is your new shiny custom theme build of it as much as you like I don't know why I did this quick edit but yeah, it was just quick for a tutorial wow also these blocks won't change when you edit them because they're an animation like when you play it see how it like scrolls along you'd have to edit the animation which is a thing for another day Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.